What's up YouTube, I'm Jack. This is Jow Reacts and today y'all we have another very, very highly requested video as usual. Today we got a Janet Jackson love will never do. And in parentheses it says without you. I'm very excited for this one because I'm pretty sure it is off the Rhythm Nation album if I'm not mistaken. We'll see though. I mean, I think it'll be pretty obvious to tell by the sound if it is. I love the songs that I've done off that project. It's very 80s, very new jazz swing. I just, I love that era from her. I mean, I love all her eras. But it's been a little minute since I've done one of her older songs, so my anticipation is very, very high, and I do not want to talk too long. As usual, I got the lyrics put up. Y'all know the drill. Let me know what I missed in the comments below, along with any info, context, the song, all that. That being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off a cappella, okay. Okay. I really like that intro. I love her voice. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely from that Rhythm Nation era. Already I can tell. Hold on, let me turn this up a little bit. She sounds a little different on this. I like it. It's like her voice is a little deeper. She looks really good in this. Hold on, hold on. And I'm gonna pause right there before I get into the song though. Like I said, she looks really good. Obviously she's Janet, she's just naturally beautiful, but I really like her style in this. It reminds me of like the, the how girls looked in the 60s. I mean, I wasn't around then, but you know how they had the, the little hair thing and they had the bun and all that. I just think she looks really good. I like her outfits. I really like the aesthetics of the video. This actually reminds me a little bit of In the Closet, but reverse the roles. And don't get me wrong, there's some heavy differences in the dynamic of the video, but I feel like y'all know what I'm talking about. I really loving the visuals really loving the song again like i said going into this y'all know how much i love her music from this rhythm nation era it's like a combination of that 80s synth heavy pop music and then 90s r&b and I, I just love this mixture of sounds and i know the term is new jack swing her producers are always on point i'm pretty sure it's it's two guys it's terry lewis and jimmy something they always come through with the instrumentals i mean every time they never miss as much as she's the highlight and i love her voice and I tell y'all all the time that she is one of, if not my favorite artist to do, I think she is my favorite artist just to react to. Her ear for instrumentals definitely makes it a much more enjoyable experience. I mean, obviously she has an incredible voice. Let's talk about that beginning. The acapella part was incredible. And also when she came in on the instrumental, I mentioned that her voice sounded a little bit different. Definitely much deeper. I've said this in the past. I think she has a very versatile voice. Because what's the song she did with Busta Rhymes? It's like on the tip of my tongue. I don't know why I'm blanking out. But like her voice on that was very high pitched, very feminine. On this, it's much deeper. It kind of reminds me a little bit of T Boss from TLC. And I also like the message of the song. I mean, she's in love with a guy who, from the outside looking in, most people think that their relationship is not going to work for whatever reasons. But she's in love and she's committed and she doesn't care what others think. She wants this guy. And I respect that. I'm liking this one a lot so far. Just overall, uh, I'm going to run it back a few seconds though and let's get back to it. But you see her look like the the hair, everything, I love it. Mm. 
I love those chords. Mm. Who are these guys dancing? They're killing it. Um, both the, the the black and white dude, both of them are killing it. Mm. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> He must be like an acrobat or something. Very, very in shape. <laughs> That's how I'm trying to get. This quarantine's got me lacking though. Hey. Where is this film at by the way? Are they in like a desert or something? Hmm. This is so fun. It's such a summertime vibe. And I think it's summertime now, right? Mm. That's my favorite part right there. <laughs> How it breaks down and then the beat comes back in. Mmm. I like her ad libs too. Like how she's talking in the background. That was a real high note. Was that like a, a falsetto or something? Yeah, she can sing. Mmm. It cut off right there. Like I was saying though, she can really, really sing. That's not my first time saying this, but I really noticed that on this song in particular, especially with the opening acapella part, but there were definitely some points just strung throughout where she was hitting some incredible runs and some incredible high notes. And I guess I never thought of Janet as like a top tier vocalist. I'm not saying that she can't sing, but I always think of her as like a hit maker. Like she just knows how to make great sounding songs, great videos, and she's a great overall performer. I don't necessarily think of her as like the best of the best vocalist and I still don't but she really impressed me on this she really raised my expectations and I'm definitely seeing her in a new light this was the perfect track to do right now thank you so much to all of you who recommended it to me it's just sunny outside it's sunny in the video let me know again where they shot it, it looks like maybe Arizona or New Mexico somewhere in the, the desert very visually appealing video fun video fun song I know I keep saying it, I don't want to sound like a broken record but I love love this rhythm nation era I'm definitely gonna do more if not all the tracks off this project shout out to Janet for this one though and shout out to her producers and shout out to the the other people in the video again this is a very enjoyable and aesthetically pleasing video that being said that is it for this one y'all and if y'all liked it please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already and comment any requests down below I will get to them as soon as possible and if you'd like to further support me you can check out my patreon link in bio your support means the world I cannot express it enough. But y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in, and peace.